So, Nadine will clearly tell you that that heavy rain on a wedding day is good luck. We're looking at close to almost 40 years, and our wedding day was torrential rain. So, you guys are guaranteed a lifetime together. So, congrats. Perfect. Okay, so now Julia's side of the family is done. Should the wine run out at the reception this evening, you have more than enough water from the heavens for another miracle to be performed. Today is a day that I'm certain you've dreamt about for a very, very, very long time. As this wedding ceremony is, you've prepared not only for today, but you've prepared for the rest of your lives. Your preparation for this day, I would say, began as you were growing up, as you witnessed the people behind you, as you witnessed them, as you saw what it took to live a good, so let's talk about Ryan for a minute. Years ago, when it was just the four of us, the game would make 12 meatballs, and that was enough for like the week. Tim came along, and 12 became 20 in no time. Ryan, to protect his balls and secure them, 20 became 30. So we went on vacation to Nantucket this past summer, and Nadine brought 75 meatballs. So these, these guys were eating spaghetti and meatballs, and then they topped it off with the meatball parm. I'm like, I've never seen two people eat like these two. Around the winter uh, of 2019, Ryan had approached me uh, with the idea of moving into the city. My initial reaction was that something was up, because if there was one thing that was for certain was that Ryan did not like New York City, nor the idea of living there. It was throughout this process that I heard from our mom that Ryan had met someone. Only through the screenshot of a LinkedIn Google search, uh, there's some better ways to do some detective work. <laughs> but I got some of the early scoop that her name was Julia and that she was from my neck and lived in a city. Not too long after chatting with our mom did I find out she was a very convenient neighbor of our location in the city of 34th between 1st and 2nd. So whether or not Ryan will admit that was on purpose is another story, but I'm sure if you put some of the puzzle pieces together you can come to your own conclusion. Julia and Ryan are perfect for one another. They're both always glowing when together. They get along so great and have so much in common with each other and Ryan still always makes his tea times. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I now have the honor of introducing to all of you Mr. and Mrs. Crawford. You may kiss the bride. Yeah. 
Um, growing up, Julia was a girl of many talents, and one summer she went to both lift camp, where they would walk around lifting heavy weights, and also quilt camp. She has an alter ego named Joey, which basically she does all the boyish things of the household. Um, Joey activities entailed all extreme life-threatening sports, surfing, snowboarding, rock climbing, mountain climbing, roller coaster, none of which I would do. Also, the manual labor of chopping trees, painting the outside of the Balada showroom. You get the picture. <laughs> Each summer, we go on a family trip to Nantucket. We went to a secluded beach where there was no cell service. We were in, in the middle of nowhere. We were burning on the walk back, like our backs were singeing. And Ryan took it upon himself to open the big beach umbrella. And we all walked underneath it. <laughs> with Ryan holding the big beach umbrella. The walk was like four miles. May God be with you and bless you. May you meet your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Love you.